the TSN Equestrian Series goes overseas. From the town of Mill Street, outside of Cork, Ireland. We present the 1991 Mill Street International Horse Show. Welcome to Ireland and welcome to the Mill Street International Horse Show. I'm Chris Seedens. This is a very special broadcast for us at TSN. As we come to Ireland, a country that the horse means so very much to the fabric, the culture, the economy of the country. It's also a very special event for the riders who come here from around the world and to the people of Mill Street who really are the heart and soul of this international event. And joining me on the broadcast, Nancy Wetmore. Nancy, you've been here before. What makes Mill Street so special? Chris, to me, at Mill Street, it's the atmosphere. The Duggan family, in fact, the whole town of Mill Street pulled together to make this just a happy experience for everybody. And secondly, what we're going to see today, the Derby. We've been treated by so much hosp hospitality since we arrived in Ireland uh, for this event. It truly is a great event for everyone who comes either to watch, to compete, or to cover it, as we found out as we talked to some of the riders. Mill Street is a, an Irish version of Spruce Meadows or Hickston. It's very, very similar. And it's uh, a lovely venue. There are beautiful natural fences. The surroundings are fabulous. I love Mill Street. First trip here to Mill Street, a wonderful, wonderful setting. Um, very good facilities. Uh, the new indoor arena looks tremendous. The, the outdoor arenas are very good. Um, and of course, you have the wonderful Irish hospitality, and it's, uh, we're enjoying it. It's a welcome the hospitality and it's that special thing it's an old C. Duggan really um, you come here it's everything about the horse you get horse from all ages you can buy them when they're three year olds four year olds five year olds and uh, it, it, it just covers all the aspects of the horse and uh, I, I like it very much Mill Street is a special event uh, it's something that has developed over the last years unbelievable when we came here first nobody thought we'd ever see what actually is here today uh, it's exciting to ride here, and uh, I think all the Irish riders feel a little bit under pressure that they would like to keep the derby at home. We have a lot of opposition from abroad, and uh, there's 50,000 pounds of Irish money, and we'd like to keep it at home. Welcome back to Ireland and the Mill Street International Horse Show. Nancy, there truly is a lot of history behind the horse in Ireland. It certainly is, Chris. It's always been a main staple of their economy and of the hearts of the people as well. There was a decline a few years ago. Now it's back with a vengeance, we're glad to say. The Mill Street Show is very important. that It, it provides a unique look at uh, the breeding of horses in Ireland, which is very important because, after all, in Ireland, horses are a big part of the economy and the culture. Well, here in Ireland, the Irish draft has been the traditional basis from which we produce our sport horse when crossed with the thoroughbred sire and then continuous crosses over the next few generations with more thoroughbred stallions. When the mare gets so light after so many crosses, then you go back to an Irish draft stallion, and that's the way we've traditionally, traditionally produced horses. However, over the last couple of years, people have looked at the performance horses in Europe, and we now have in Ireland a couple, only a couple, two or three uh, performance stallions from countries like Holland and Germany and France. But they are in a minority, and I think they always will be a minority, because obviously if you're selling horses from Ireland, then people want Irish horses. If they wanted Hanoverian horses, they would go to Germany. If they wanted Anglo-Arabs, they would go to France. So I think in the future, while we will have some infusion of good blood from these countries, the basis and the vast majority of our horses will always be bred on the traditional Irish lines. Well, they've been very good for the, for the numbers we breed compared with the big countries like France and Germany. Uh, they have huge numbers, but for the numbers of horse we breed, up to now we've been holding our own. What do you see as the next step for the Irish farmer? Will they be breeding more horses here, or will there be a, a decline? Uh, it's getting more and more. We were in a decline for about t the last 10 years, but now, last year, they introduced a subsidy for a lot of the breeders, and uh, I'm glad to say that they're breeding far more horses. Unfortunately, I think we're not breeding enough quality, but anyhow, I'm sure it'll come right eventually, but we're breeding a lot more numbers than we have been. Our job is to support the Irish breeder and to advertise the Irish horse around the world, and we have been very lucky, in it's, and it has worked out pretty well for us over the years. So you're in favour, obviously, of the Irish horse. How do you find they compare to, say, the American thoroughbreds or the German warmbloods? I think that the Irish horse is a very general purpose horse. He um, he's a good temperament, uh, soundness, 
uh, longevity they go on for a long time and I think uh, um, basically the temperament is very good and the limestone here in the soil aids in the growth of the bone I think we end up with a good type of horse a general purpose type of horse obviously a great horse uh, anywhere is a great horse but we're talking about the general market parameters like in the states or in uh, Canada I think the Irish horse is a very very good horse